Jerry here. We're going to go through Psalm, the 37th chapter. People like me get discouraged sometimes when you're doing the things that are considered politically incorrect and you're pushing, kicking against the pricks, as the uh, King James would call it. If you can get weary in well-doing sometimes, the scripture warns you, don't get weary in well-doing. So let's talk about King David. What happened when he got worried or where he'd see the Babylonians, Philistines, whoever, I mean, all the people just coming against whoever they were at the time, the Hittites, the Parasites, the Jebusites, all those sites. I don't want to go sightseeing for those kind of sites. And he would, he would get discouraged sometimes. Sometimes he'd be elated, sometimes he'd be really down. Let's read. First verse, don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. For like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good, and then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Where is the desires of my heart now? They steal elections. They, they jab you with vaccines. They tell you I can't talk about stuff, or you're a lunatic, or a conspiracy freak, or whatever. I mean, come on. Don't we have free speech anymore in this country? Of course, I'm going to... Uh, put a footnote here saying none of this is news here just opinions and i'm going to say they may or may not be true they're just opinions like armpits we all have a couple of them so there so don't take me off facebook or youtube or throttle me back because i'm entitled to my opinion commit everything you do to the lord trust in him and he will help you he will make your innocence radiate like the dawn well all this stuff is going to happen eventually it just won't happen right away right now it doesn't look like trump's innocence is radiating like the dawn it looks like he might be in an orange suit blending with his skin that sometimes gets a little orange when he puts too much copper tone on i don't know why he still uses cheap copper tone bronzer but he does for whatever reason and justice of your cause will shine like the noonday be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being anger, angry. Turn away from rage. Do not lose your temper. It only learns, uh, leads to harm. Next verse I like. For the wicked will be destroyed. Hello, deep state. You're done for. Hello, Biden administration. You're out of there. Ugh, Hunter, you could run, but you can't hide, Hunter. The hound of heaven is going to find you and hunt you down. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess land. So just keep on keeping on, man. I know it's a little hard to hang in there sometimes, but keep on keeping on. Soon the wicked will disappear, though you look for them, and they'll be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the godly, and they snarl against them in defiance. But the Lord just laughs. He sees their day of judgment. The wicked draw their swords, and they, they string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. But their swords will stab them in their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. Bows will be broken. And it's better to be, live godly with a little than to be evil with rich, riches and much. For strength of the wicked will be shattered, but the Lord will take care of the godly. Day by day, the Lord takes care of the innocent, and they will receive an inheritance that lasts forever. They will not be disgraced in hard times, even in famine. They will have more than enough. So if global warming is real, which I do not believe it is, we'll have plenty because... We're on the right side, right? But the wicked will die. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in a field. They'll disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never repay, but godly are generous givers. That's why we need lower taxes, so we can give more efficiently from the private sector. Those the Lord blesses will possess land, but those he curses will die. Again, death isn't immediately the Garden of Eden. It said, if you pluck of it, you'll die, but they didn't die right away, so they thought God was lying. He wasn't lying. Adam and Eve did die. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall. The Lord holds them all by the hand. Um, what else? I don't know if I can read the whole thing, but it's in that new section here. I'll read a little bit of it. I once was young and now I'm old. <laughs> uh, yet I have never seen the godly abandoned or their children begging bread. The godly always give generous loans to others and their children are a blessing. So turn from evil and do good and you'll live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice. Restoring justice to America is another cause I support. And he will never abandon the godly. You may feel abandoned, but he won't abandon you. He will keep you safe forever. His children will 
uh, of the wicked will die, but the children of the wicked will die. The godly will possess the land and will live there forever and ever and ever and ever. The godly offer good counsel. They teach right from wrong. They have made God's law their own, so they will never slip from his path. The wicked wait in ambush for the godly, looking for an excuse to kill them or their children through abortion. Look, but the Lord will not let the wicked succeed or the godly be condemned when they're put on trial. You hear that? Godly will not be condemned when they're put on trial. So, travel steadily along his path. He will honor you by giving you the land, but hope in your heart. You'll see the wicked destroyed. And I have seen the wicked and ruthless people flourishing like a tree in his native soil. But when I looked again, they were gone. I searched for them. I couldn't find them. Look for those who are honest and good. A wonderful future awaits them. But the rebellious will be destroyed. They have no future whatsoever. Look for them. The honest and good, they have a future. But the rebellious will be destroyed. They have no future. The Lord rescues the godly. He's a fortress. The Lord helps them, rescues them from the wicked. He saves them, and he'll shelter them. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll end on that note.